Hello, my name is Ben Raines. I'm the program coordinator for financial education at the Student Life Student Loan Center. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, one of the big considerations of coming to college from a financial perspective, and that is what, uh, how to think about your budget while you're in college. So why budget, first of all? Uh, I, it should not be a surprise to you that college is quite expensive, um, and both directly in terms of tuition, but also indirectly uh, when it comes to your lifestyle and your living expenses. You, once you arrive on campus, you'll find that there's lots of ways to spend money, lots of things to get involved in. <clears throat> it's just important to be conservative, um, be intentional with your spending, to make sure that you're spending ultimate alliance with what's important to you, and you're not making college unduly expensive. First thing you gotta do, identify your goals. Uh, when I work with students, I like to make sure they are identifying really clear goals that they're working towards, even so far as, you know, having a date attached to it and a specific amount. So if I was working with a student who wanted to save <clears throat> money for tuition next semester, I would have them come up with a, uh, a, a tangible number and a tangible way to have it by so that it's really clear what we're working towards. You gotta track your spending and income. We've all been in a situation where we spend more money than we really intended to. And it's just important that you're in touch with where your money goes and where it's coming from. Uh, it's helpful, and I think it'll be helpful once you get here, to spend a, a couple months you know, in your new lifestyle and look back where your money has gone over the last several months, several weeks. I think it'll be instructive. You know where your money is, and once you kind of get a baseline of your behavior, you know what your goals are, and you can determine whether or not these two things are in congruence with one another, and if they aren't, what are some palatable trade-offs you can make? Uh, at Ohio State, under normal circumstances, uh, there are lots of jobs available for students in the residence halls, in the dining facilities, uh, on the grounds crews, right? There's lots of stuff students can get involved in. It's a great way to <clears throat> meet friends, make some money, uh, and you can use that money to pay for your living expenses or for your tuition. So when you're making a budget uh, on the expense side, the easiest place to start is your fixed expenses. Not just anything that doesn't change month to month. Some common fixed expenses a student might have, maybe a auto loan payment, an auto insurance policy, cell phone plan, any monthly apps they might have. Uh, by the way, if you're a student, check out Spotify student. It's $5 a month that includes some other memberships. Um, so that's the easiest place to start because it's the same every month. You may be locked into that in a new extent, so you might not be able to get out of it. Variable expenses are uh, just kind of your day-to-day -day expenses. Those are the things you just spend money on weekly, monthly, but you really have a lot of control over where that money's going. Um, <clears throat> as a student, you've already played, mostly probably played paid for a meal plan. So a lot of your, your food is taken care of. You might want to, 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 to go eat sometimes, to go to the grocery store, also includes your entertainment. Luckily, Ohio State has a lot of resources with OUAB and the discount ticket programs to help make that affordable. Really though, this is where you can spend less in the short run. A couple of good resources that help you track your money. Mint and You Need a Budget both work pretty similarly. <clears throat> you let them view your bank account and it, it tracks your money as it comes out and it gives you a really clear and intuitive look at where your spending is going. A lot of students find them really helpful. And regular expenses are those that are not necessarily regularly occurring but, and can be difficult to predict. This is sort of your auto repair, your medical expenses, your dental expenses. Uh, Ohio State has on-campus on clinics and student health insurance options available for students. Uh, but it can be tough to deal with these. So, you know, it's a good idea to set a little money aside monthly and so you have a kind of a, a big pot of money you can use to offset those unexpected expenses. So draft a plan and adjust. Your life's gonna change a lot as you transition to campus. Then, you know, as you're on campus and you transition to living off campus is gonna change. And then again, when you transition from being an upperclassman to being a graduate student or, or a working professional, it's gonna be a lot of change, but you know, I think the formula of knowing your goals, knowing how to think about your expenses, Come over with a plan, or it's really gonna, it's gonna take you a long way in your personal finance life. So some resources, 
Uh, student job board is available. Uh, the university has a hiring freeze right now, but I'm hopeful that you know, we'll be able to hire students again soon. Scarlet and Gray Financial Coaching, that's my program. We work with students on a one-on-one -on -one basis to do stuff like budgeting, talk about student loans, investing, that sort of stuff. And the Student Wellness Center, which is the office I work in, which has lots and lots of resources to support students in all areas of their wellness. Thank you very much. Have a great day.